Hello again. Hey, I wanted to show you the difference between my bees and Russian honeybees. I know I've made statements about Russian honeybees being aggressive. Well, anyway, these are the bees that I've shown that are my bees. See, I got my hand over them right here. And it's not a big deal to them. Hey, they're gentle. They're not all over my hand wanting to sting me. Okay, now let's check a Russian colony. Now, Russian colonies aren't any better against mites than the other bees that I have. So, I have quite a few colonies that are small because their numbers started dropping in the fall. And I powdered them. There, there's our first, our first attack right there. I powdered them in the fall in an attempt to get out the mites. That I powdered them in the fall, that's why you see this powdered sugar here. But the mites really took a toll on them, and then when you when they get small and you powder them, they scatter from the brood and the brood dies. So that doesn't help either, but you know what can you do? See? They're all over my hand. And I opened this as gentle as I could. You can just tell the agitation that they have. Hey, there's the queen. This is one of Foley's queens. If I can find her again. Right there she is. This is one of Foley's. And you see how small this colony is? They don't even fill a frame. They made it all the way to one deep last fall, and I was ready to take care of them, bring them in, in the warm room here, because I was prepared for that, not being too deep. But the mites have taken a toll on them, and it's not the only one. I got quite a few that are like that. You know, in all my videos, I mentioned the fact that these Russian queens. You have to buy them and they have to be shipped to you. And fully, Jason fully, he puts the workers loose in the box. He doesn't put them in the cage with the queen. And this was the second order, which was larger than my first. And you can get a total of 28 in here. I went with 26. And it was full of workers. And on the box it says, air vents do not block if you have a bunch of workers in this box that are loose <laughs> and it gets warm they're going to want to try to get out and so what do they do they block the screens and that makes them get even hotter now somebody on youtube mentioned oh they're not guaranteed that's not the point i'm trying to make the point i'm trying to make is if he had stuck the workers in the cages with the queens they wouldn't have blocked the screen and therefore there may have been some air circulation and the heat could have gotten out of that box. Now, the trouble with stupid people is, they're so stupid they don't realize they're stupid. And if they're stupid, you really can't change their mind. You can't, you can't reason with a stupid person. It's a waste of time. So, that's the one thing I don't like about the Russians. You have to buy them and you have to be shipped. And uh, Man Lake, I called Man Lake. They make this box. And the person I talked to at Man Lake confirmed, you know, if you have loose workers in there and they block the screens, it's going to get hot in that box and that damages the health of queens. And Man Lake doesn't even ship queens, but they do make a box so you can ship queens. So, and the other thing issue I have with, uh, with people is they, they say, oh, well, they're not 100% Russian bees. Well, I contacted the president of the Russian Honeybee Breeders Association. He confirmed Foley's statement that he is working on becoming a member of the RHBA. 
So they are Russian bees. And the issue I have with the RHBA is when they bought, brought these Russian queens from Russia over here, they took them down to Louisiana. Now that's a whole lot warmer climate than they came from. You know, they were first at the Grand Tier Islands for three years, and then they moved them to Baton Rouge, the Honeybee Beauties Genetics and whatever uh, ARS or the USDA Honeybee Research Lab. Now, what I've noticed over the years here in Michigan, the last two summers have been cool and dry, and the mice have been terrible. The first few summers that I had bees, it was really hot and the mites weren't so bad. So I, I'm talking to a friend that has dogs, he breeds dogs, he says, yeah, fleas are really bad when it's hot and dry too. Okay, so when the dry, you're hot and dry. So if it's dry, the mites do well and because of the heat, they don't like heat. But at 104 degrees, the mites fall off the bees. But it also harms bees. So I'm thinking maybe even if it gets warm in the hive, the mites don't do so well. But when it's cool and dry, I, I'm thinking the mites do really, really well. So I don't agree with this research they did in Louisiana. They should have done it up somewhere north. I know they had some in Wisconsin and other places, but to do the research down in Louisiana and claim that these Russian bees are really all that great, I think that w weather had an influence because mites don't come from warm climates either. They came from the same area in Russia that the Russian bees came from. So, and this is what the Russian Honeybee Breeders Association is also doing. They take these Russian queens and they take the offspring. You know, and the G represents good offspring off that good queen and the B represents the bad. They're culling the bad, you know, and they keep taking the good and it keeps getting better and better and better. But you know, I think from my experience in raising bees, I'm not a geneticist, but you're always going to have bad somewhere in that queen. And these queen, Russian queen dealers, they're buying queens from the Russian Honeybee Bridges Association, and they're not doing any culling because that costs money. So you're getting everything they produce. So you may be getting bad, you may be getting good. Of the 20 queens that I got from Foley that survived and made colonies, all 20 had trouble with mites. So, you take that into account, and you take the fact that I lost money on an order of queens, it's, they're really not worth it. Because I've kept the same bees for six years, I got quite a few of them, like, not, so not as many as I have, because I was going to get into the Russian. But it's a whole lot cheaper. You know, you're not losing any money. And they're a whole lot gentler than these Russians. These Russians are just downright mean. When you get a big colony of these Russians, oh my gosh, you gotta smoke them and you gotta wear all kinds of gear. So anyway, that's my opinion on Russian honeybees. So thank you.